I'm gonna do this until B McG starts talking about how Vega has become insulfurable about America Chavez. That is my goal. Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, it's time for war one of season 40, my first official war, active season war in SSX. I got out the video of Carl, Observer Man, and American Chavez just absolutely trivializing some otherwise very, very difficult fights. I've been talking to you about both of them. We've got the essentials out on Carl. It will eventually come on America Chavez, but keeping with my theme of if it's fun, if it's exciting, if it's new, if it's something we can all learn from, I'm gonna show it to you in war. We've got some stuff to show you. I hinted at America being able to take out Teddy, and guess what? She's going to, she's gonna make it look so, so good. We've got to start off with all the fights here. There's four, they're all good things that we can learn from. So we're gonna be going up against this fight here uh, against Bitter Steel's Cersei. And as I was going in, I was like, wait a minute. Bitter Steel did a video uh, taking his Cersei to rank five. This is gonna be serious, serious business. We've got the Planetary Endurance, which I don't need to worry about too much because as we talked about in another video, America is an attacker tactic. I mean, when I throw my specials, she's gonna put on, I think it's called a Fate Steal, get rid of all those buffs. It kind of cuts both ways for America Chavez, but ultimately I think in this war map right now, it's helping her. Now, there's this uh, force of will, not gonna matter, right? Because America's not gonna be dealing with any of that stuff. Right back at it, she's not placing debuffs, so no big deal. And this ebb and flow knockdown, well, this is really cool, right? Because we don't have an active stun. Uh, America uh, Chavez is, is a passive. We talked about this in other videos, but it's a passive, so I don't need to worry about it. I'm just gonna knock him down. She wants to do that anyway, because she wants to heavy to get up all of her uh, parallel dimensions and those sorts of things. I see why my uh, my battle group leader, Nerd, had actually advised me to start with the Power Start 1. I'm seeing why now. The idea was to just start throwing specials right away, and that would have worked out very, very well. And in, in a future war, I maybe do that, but um, made a nice little adjustment here. So evaded the SP1, getting to the SP3, and as soon as I threw this, I'm like, this should do pretty good damage. Because, um, you know, Cersei had quite a few buffs up there. as a rank five, so I wasn't sure. And then I saw I did 32% health, and I was like, everything's gonna be a-okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Uh, mess up the evade there a little bit, I think. We've already been pushed to our special three because I run 505 Mystics Dispersion. I really do like that for uh, Mystics. And I'm like, this is cool. I'll just throw special threes. Cersei will basically uh, kill herself for me because of all these buffs she's got. So it's no big deal here. Uh, you can see how many of my dimensions I have up or any sort of power. She's not getting any, but would have been, uh, been handled there. Throw a special one, and then I, I think this was probably honestly just nerves right there. I, I'm not gonna blame that on the game. Uh, so I messed that up, which wasn't fun. But I was like, I cannot, this is my first fight. We're not dying, we're not dying here. Cersei presses us to our special three. And now America's doing so much damage. Again, I'll, I'll, I like to try to teach in these war videos, so much damage there because she's getting big attack increases for each unique parallel dimension. She has three of them, I managed to get all of them up. And then also for the buffs that are on the defender. So it's a really significant attack increase. And then I have her at 6200, which is increasing that even more. Uh, I think it's by like 50% or something like that, if I remember correctly off the top of my head. So those special threes were just hitting like an absolute truck and we're taking out a rank five Cersei uh, that way. Really, really cool, cool to see it. And then we're gonna have a much more to plan fight here coming up, which I'm excited to show you. So, okay, this is Ebb and Flow Knockdown, Heavy Hitter, going up against this Spider-Ham. I'm actually very comfortable spy fighting Spider-Ham. It, it's odd, usually the tougher defenders uh, stress me out. He's one that actually doesn't. I've fought him with a variety of attackers, usually great options, because I've always had great battle uh, battle planners, right in 4 Loki and now in SSX, uh, but I'm comfortable with him, very, very comfortable with him. So. The whole idea here is I've got four out of five uh, in deep wounds, and I'm going to throw my specials literally as soon as I get it. Uh, I'm not relying on the specials to do damage. So I don't really care if I have the taunt up, and then I'm going to five hit combo. I know that because of the node, uh, I if I miss a parry and he goes into heavy, I'm just gonna back up. You can see I'm doing that right now. He's gonna be unstoppable. Uh, I have the power sting on, and so uh, yeah. There we go. And I think it was Legacy that recently talked about this, how Nick actually almost goes like debuff immune when he knocks down the defenders. So that was fine. I knew I would get rid of it. I'm gonna make a mistake with the power sting here coming up. But Nick just really trivialized this fight. Great assignment, worked out great. I don't play Nick a lot and he's gonna take one other fight. And the other fight was gonna be a bit of more of a Zerg. 
And so I wanted to make sure I did not make a mistake and somehow go to my second life. So like right there, I probably should have parry heavied to knock Spider-Ham down. And then I think all non-damaging debuffs get removed from Nick. He kind of, it's not a full debuff immunity. I don't think he gets rid of the damaging debuffs. If he does, I'll make a note in type here so that uh, we get the correct information out. But I think it's all non-damaging debuffs. He purifies on those knockdowns. So obviously a fantastic counter. I didn't need to do anything fancy, anything special. And um, I still have my second life, which would be great for the next fight you're gonna see coming up. Now, in my last video on America Chavez and Carl, I talked about, I, and I teased it, because I knew I would eventually get to fight a Hulkling. I didn't know it would be in War One, So Hulkling's gonna get this Planetary Endurance, and obviously you know he's getting a lot of buffs too. And then for each buff on the Defender has gained, they receive a Power Charge. But America Chavez works out so well for this. One, because of the attacker tactic, which is going to be placing that neutralized, right? And then also the fate steal whenever I throw a special, getting rid of those buffs. But even without it, and trust me, I will show it to you. I have demolished some Hulklings in Battlegrounds without this attack, attacker tactic. You can use her dimensions to play into Hulkling, right? If you go all the way to the purple one, the third hit on the heavy, you're going to be eventually even reversing his power gains that he would be getting. And then the cool thing, the thing I love talking about is my suggestion to Kabam to put her to be able to actually invert uh, the Pierce buff of Hulkling. It's off of her first parallel dimension. I think it's the Utopian parallel. Yeah, I got it up there. Uh, you can minimize it just by having one of those up by 70%. So this fight is, was really going to be about uh, utilizing both of those. I'm gonna, I wanted to concentrate on the power gain first. So I think I miss a heavy here. I do make a small mistake, but you're gonna be like, when you see the end results, you're gonna be like, he made a mistake in this fight. Uh, so here we go. So we've already got up a neutralized. We've got our nice uh, passive stun going in. There's the mistake I made. Uh, no big deal. It is what it is. It's gonna give me a chance to show off the heal. So, so now I've got the uh, negative zone up and the utopian parallel. So any pierces he gets will be minimized by 70%. Same with the power gain. And then watch this special too. I'm gonna throw it off the second hit to get a heal. We heal up about 13% and it almost kills Hulkling. It almost kills him. I knew we were gonna hit him because we're hitting so hard. Remember, I have up all of my dimensions, which means I'm getting those massive attack increases and I've got our SIG 200. I knew we were just gonna kill him. We healed up. We made a mistake. We healed up 13%, Hulkling down. How much time did this take? 30 seconds. And when I put out the video showing her in Battlegrounds and when we go over her essentials, you're gonna see, it didn't take me much longer. I was almost 200,000 health, Hulkling, decimated, gone, dunzos, whatever term you use. I, America Chavez is actually surpassing what I had hoped for her, right? I think I titled the video like a star is born. She's actually doing even better. I cannot wait. I'm gonna, this is gonna be like all America all the time on this channel for, for a while now. I'm gonna do this until B McG starts talking about how Vega has become insulferable about America Chavez. That is my goal. B, you know what you gotta do. All right, here we go. Here we go. Now for this fight, uh, this was against this Doom. Doom's really tanky, crit resistance, armor, the whole thing, right? Uh, rich get richer, inevitable power. So the concern here ultimately was uh, me making a mistake or the power gain, just getting Doom to go to a special three and things going really, really bad. So uh, Nerd, my uh, uh, battle planner for this war said, look, throw on recoil. So I have on uh, full recoil here or two out of three, I think in each of them. And then I still have my four out of five in deep wounds. I was very comfortable with this fight. I'm pretty comfortable with the, at least the SP1 decks on Doom. And I'm gonna do absolutely nothing uh, special or fancy. I wanna bait SP1s over and over. I do eventually mess up one of the SP1 evades but this was going so exceptionally well. Oh, I've got the uh, the shock on me. So obviously when that happens, you want to do what you can to stay away from Doom so he doesn't Doom slap you. And you can just see how much damage Fury can do in his first life. This is his first life. I, I'm not even in the second life. I don't have the big Fury up. I'm staying the heck away from Doom because uh, I've got that shock on. Uh, but this was really impressive. This is really eye-opening for me. I don't play Fury very much. But man, what a confidence inducing champion. You know I love champions like that where when you go into the fight, when you feel good about it, or when your battle planner has assigned you this, you're like, I'm gonna win this fight. I'm gonna win this fight. And that's Fury, especially when you got that second life still available to you. Uh, we came up with the win. I believe the goal for uh, Savage Squad SS1 is master. So obviously getting off to a nice win here against a really good alliance. This is a fantastic war along, uh, alliance here. Uh, Gom Vulcan here. Uh, MVP is on that side, Bitter Steel, uh, <laughs> and another person, and then Zahid22, phenomenal players. I, uh, Bitter, I've started to get to know him, as I'm sure many of you have. 
a really helpful, helpful, great, uh, great YouTube channel there too. And then thank you, congratulations to the MVPs on our site, SSX, and Slaymon, Nerd, Tom Jarvis. These are names you've heard me talk about for probably close to years now uh, on my own channel. Uh, good dudes, amazing, amazing planners and players. Uh, so we came up with the win uh, up on the right side of that. So it's a great way to start the season. I'm not going to do the chart for this one because I took four fights, two of them with America Chavez, two of them with Nick Fury. Uh, and and SSX one is we are one and zero oh and on our way to our goal. It's a long season, but uh, we're on our way. And if we do more war videos, if more cool, exciting, new, and fun things happen, and if America Chavez goes to more wars, I have a feeling I'll be making more videos and getting up those pie charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope your season's gone off to a good start. Um, get, let, put in some of those questions. If you have questions about America Chavez. Please write them down in here when I do the video on American Travels and Battlegrounds and when I do the Essentials video, which I am working on, I know, I know, uh, it's taking some time, but it'll help me know some specific things to make sure I talk about in those videos. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I hope you either learned something, were entertained, or even better, a little bit of both. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.